Okay, wow. Guys, for the people who don't believe that this is Jesus, uh, I'm just so amazed right now. Okay, so guys, for the last five days, the Lord has had me get all of these messages together, okay? Every single prophecy that he's given me since December 30th of 2022 until today. Guys, I went and printed everything out from my notes i copied everything i emailed it and what i was doing was i went through tiktok and i looked at the very first video and <clears throat> i was doing it in order of the messages because i'm going to do a long video with every single prophecy and every single word he's giving me um all in one video <laughs> and i forgot some so I was going through them and I was looking at the videos and I was lining everything up and then I was left with two, two messages. And I'm kind of freaking out right now because the messages are about him coming and the rapture. And I don't think that's a coincidence at all. So um, I got this message on January 8th, the first one. The second one was January 13th. <sighs> I'm about to cry right now. That's so awesome. God is so good. Oh my goodness. I claim Jesus Christ came to earth as a man in the flesh and he died for us and he rose three days later. Okay, so this is the message that I forgot. Okay, Philippians 2, 9. Therefore God elevated him to the place of highest honor and gave him the name above all other names. Philippians 2, 3. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble. Thinking of others is better than yourselves. Colossians 4, 11. Jesus, the one we call justice, also sends his greetings. These are the only Jewish believers among my co-workers. They are working with me here for the kingdom of God. And what a comfort they have been. Ephesians 2, 5 that even though we were dead because of our sins he gave us life when he raised christ from the dead it is only by god's grace that you have been saved and just really quick before i continue if you notice these are new living translation okay so when i first started these messages december 30th i did everything new living translation until people started complaining about it and i did it to where you know the people left behind could understand the messages um and this one's all New Living Translation. So that's proof right there that it was January 8th for the people who don't think that I'm telling the truth. And January 13th, because I didn't start doing New King James Version until after a few weeks after I started getting all the messages out. And I don't know if January, I'll have to look if the 13th one's New Living Translation also. I don't know when I converted over to New King James Version, but... Okay, had to say that real quick. Okay, back to the message. Uh, Luke 2, 13. Suddenly the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, 1 Corinthians 2, 7. Know the wisdom we speak of is the mystery of God, his plan that was previously hidden, even though he made it for our ultimate glory before the world began. 1 Thessalonians 3, 8. It gives us new life to know that you are standing firm in the Lord. 1 Timothy 2, 7. Um... Oh, I didn't write that one down. Sorry, guys. So just look up First Timothy 2.7. Um, James 3.11. Does a spring of water bubble out with both fresh water and bitter water? Exodus 2.19. An Egyptian rescued us from the shepherds. They answered, and then he drew water for us and watered our flocks. 1 John 3.15. Anyone who hates another brother or sister is really a murderer at heart. And you know that murderers don't have eternal life within them. 1 John 3.18 Dear children, let's not merely say that we love each other. Let us show the truth by our actions. Luke 4.18 The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released, that the blind will see, that the oppressed will be set free. Okay, guys, and here's the message. <clears throat> Listen to my words, child. I am coming soon. I am raising them up. I am rapturing my people up for the wedding feast. Harpazo singling the end, but not yet to come. Hear them angels singing. Romans 3, 9. Well, then should 
we conclude, sh well then should we conclude that we Jews are better than others? No, not at all. For we have already shown that all people, whether Jews or Gentiles, are under the power of sin. Romans 3.11, no one is truly wise, no one is seeking God. Ephesians 4.11, now these are the gifts of Christ that gave to the church, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, and the pastors and teachers. 1 Corinthians 3.11, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one we already have, Jesus Christ. 2 Thessalonians 3.6, and now dear brothers and sisters, we give you this command in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stay away from all believers who live idle lives and don't follow the tradition they received from us. And, oh, there's 1 Timothy 2.7. Oh, maybe I did it out of order. <laughs> okay, well, here's 1 Timothy. I'll just say these scriptures because they go with it. Um, 1 Timothy 2.7. And I have been chosen as a preacher and apostle to teach the Gentiles this message about faith and truth. I'm not exaggerating, just telling the truth. 1 Peter 2.11. Dear friends, I warn you as a temporary residence and foreigners to keep away from worldly desires that wage war against your very souls. Ephesians 3.9. I was chosen to explain to everyone this mysterious plan that God, the creator of all things, had kept secret from the beginning. Here's another message. My child, why do you seek darkness? Darkness will not overcome light. Why can't you look up into the heavens? I created it for you. You seek destruction and the world is coming to an end. Do not judge your brothers and sisters. They seek me because they love me. Please repent and bow down to me. Time is almost up. Matthew 3.8 Prove by the way you live that you have repented of your sins and turned to God. Philippians 2.13 For God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. Um, Ephesians 2.7 So God can point to us in all future ages as examples of the incredible wealth of his grace and kindness towards us, as shown in all that he has done for us who are now united with Christ Jesus. 1 Peter 2.13, for the Lord's sake, submit to all human authority, whether the king is the head of state. Colossians 3.14, um, above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. Wow. God is so good, guys. Um, January 9th. In January 13th, that message was done. And it was missed. <laughs> and it just happens to be about the rapture and coming. <laughs> wow. I really feel like it could be like so soon, you know, like maybe Purim. You know, I'm not going to say Purim is the rapture, but what if it is? That would be awesome. Wow. Wow. You know, he kept saying Purim over and over again, and that's really soon. You know, the ninth hour is coming. I don't know, guys, I'm not God. Um, but it's no coincidence that I forgot those messages. Because I've been on it every day since December 30th. And just the fact that those messages were never said. Sorry, that makes me smile. I have to get ready now because I have an appointment that I have to get to. Um, but I'm going to get this video done. I had to listen to it all just to make sure all the words were correctly. I, I noticed in a lot of the videos that I did starting out, I was copying everything from my phone to paper. And I didn't read every word correctly, um, you know, just being in a hurry and I didn't read all the verses correctly too, you know, looking at it. Um, and sometimes I would say 41, six, and it was really like four, 16, you know, so stuff like that. But I did put all the correct scriptures in, um, the description for everybody, um, you know, towards the later days, but wow, that is so cool. Okay. Well, I'm going to get ready now and then I'm going to work on that video later. It's going to have all the prophecies, all the messages, and it's going to be at seek heavenly things on my YouTube account. Okay, guys, if you don't know Jesus, ask him to come into your life. Repent from your sins, meaning change your mind from believing in him. Come and uh, confess your sins to him, and he will forgive you. He loves you. We're going to be raptured soon. I'm so excited. Okay, God bless.